Bonjour everybody, I'm Alex and welcome back to my channel Alex and his bags. Today I'm here with a new video which is about 7 trendy items I really don't like. Before going into the video, obviously this is personal opinion. If you own these items and if you enjoy them, that is the most important thing. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first item I have on this list is the Longchamp Le Pliage Filet. So it's basically a Longchamp but in a net version and obviously I will include pictures. I really don't like this bag for several reasons. First of all, I think the concept of it is quite dumb. I don't really understand why you would enjoy having a net bag. Like, I mean, some people did justify the Jacquemus uh, filet for the fruits or something like that, but even then I don't really feel like it's really practical. You have to have really big fruits for it to be practical. But I really don't get the point of this bag. Once again, it's becoming trendy because of its trendiness and I feel like it's just the culture of nothing and I really don't appreciate this as well. About the price tag, it's 75 euros for a fishnet, basically with the Longchamp logo, but the actual Le Pliage bag is around 100 euros and you can always score it on sale for about the price of the fishnet one. So I feel like it really doesn't mean anything to go for the fishnet one. I really don't like it and it's actually what inspired this video because I was so sick of it seeing it on Instagram. I really feel like it doesn't make any sense. Second item of this video, and it's actually more like a collection, is the Balenciaga and Gucci collaboration. So I think it's prepared for fall winter of this year, but I'm not even sure because to be honest, I haven't followed. I don't even know where to start with this one. I know it's very controversial to not like it because apparently a lot of people enjoy it. Um, but I just feel like it's way too much, not in the good sense, like, I do appreciate when fashion is too much because it's over the top or whatever. However, I don't feel like being too much in the sense of you putting logos everywhere is actually fashion. To me, it's not. I don't really appreciate this collaboration. I actually love the silhouettes, love the clothes and everything, but the logos everywhere, it's just like a pain in the ass. And if you look actually at what Balenciaga was, historically it was sleek silhouettes and very tailored things, but it was not about the logo. And the logo is just around there for maybe a couple of years now. And I feel like it destroyed Balenciaga completely. Now I don't really see it as a luxurious brand. I see it as like a very expensive Zara or something like that. And the collaboration with Gucci, it does make sense in the way that those two brands are basically the fast fashion of luxury. In that sense, uh, I do understand why they collaborated with this collection, but the results is just not my cup of tea. Next up, I think it's in stores now or you have to pre-order it and it will come in store very soon, but it's quite current. It has been trending for a couple of months since they revealed it is the Louis Vuitton, I don't know if it has a name, but I would call it Virgil Mirror Collection. I think it's for fall winter 2021 as well, but I'm not sure. I don't really follow this collection when I'm not so interested. But basically you have the Marc Jacobs Mirror Collection from a couple of years ago. You take this and you don't do it in the best way and you have the Virgil Collection. To me, this collection is a lack of inspiration because I feel like he didn't invent anything and I know in fashion you will always get inspired from people and so on but normally you add a little twist that makes it your own and with Virgil um, I'm not really impressed with anything he done not a fan of Virgil in general this collection I was so excited when I heard it was coming out because I felt like I missed on the Marc Jacobs one and I've always been obsessed with the LV Speedy in the mirror collection in silver I feel like it's so cute so in this collection I was actually eyeing the trunk one which was very cute it turns out they actually did it with the Vachetta and that's what made me hate this collection actually because I feel like it just looks so ugly with the Vachetta. I would say the Vachetta to me only looks good with the monogram and with the silver I would assume that you would do a silver strap and a handle or I don't know black white whatever you want basically anything beside Vachetta. Next item I actually don't know when it came out, but it's the Birkin Shadow from Hermes. It's basically the shadow of the Birkin. It's not the original Birkin and 
for that. I, I, I can't love it. I don't know how much it is, probably way too expensive. I actually wonder if it's more expensive than the actual Birkin and I would suspect it is. So if you know, let me know in the comments down below. I really feel like this is really cute as an art piece. If it was like stone or marble or whatever that you had sculpted in the shape of a Birkin that way, I feel like it would look really cute and so luxurious to put in your house. Obviously, I would never buy it. It's just like so expensive for me to buy um, if it's not actually usable. But I feel like if it was art, it would be so cool. However, the fact that it's just a tote with an embossing Birkin like um, straps or whatever opening, um, yeah, I'm not really convinced about it. I do feel like the leather looks very luxurious, whereas it's in gold or black. I don't know if they actually do other colors, I'm not really sure. It's To me, it's like an inspired Birkin, but it's not a Birkin. And I, I won't buy a 10,000 euros bag from Hermes if it's not actually the important bag I want. I don't understand why people would appreciate this bag. Obviously, it's easier to open than a Birkin, but... Um, yeah, not for me. Okay, so this one, I promise it's the last time I talk about Virgil Abol at Louis Vuitton for this video, but it's also from the main collection of Louis Vuitton. It's the collaboration between Louis Vuitton and Nike Air Force One. In theory, I would be so up for this. I feel like we need more collaboration that are a bit interesting, like, I don't know, just to venture outside of the box. And I feel like it would be so cool. And actually some of the models uh, of the of the shoes I don't really mind that much, they are okay, but a lot of them, basically it looks like some shoes you could buy at a corner of the street, like where you know you can find counterfeits so easily in New York or Paris or whatever. And for that reason, I feel like it's a miss. <laughs> like I think the one with the colored monogram with the white shoe overall, um, they are quite okay. But the ones with the actual Damier Eben or Azur or both in one single shoe, it's not credible. It doesn't look right. It it really looks awful. And I know a lot of people we go into it. It was not done in an elegant way. Like I actually appreciate the ones from Dior that we had a couple of seasons ago. I feel like they were quite more discreet and quite more elevated. These ones from Louis Vuitton, they just don't make any sense. Okay, next up is not a surprise, but it's still trending, so I will mention it right now. It's the multi-pochette trend, and I'm so sick of this one once again. I know I'm sick of every of these items. I am actually sick of these items because obviously there are items I don't like, but since they are trending, I always see them on YouTube, Instagram, or even in the internet when I have ads of Fashion File or My Theresa or whatever. So I just can't escape them, it's really horrible. So you probably already know my opinion about the multi pochette. If you want, I will include in the description a video where I actually unbox one from Louis Vuitton. But in this video, I'm actually mentioning all of the multi pochette you could find. So Louis Vuitton does it, Prada does it. You can also find it in Zara, Primark, Shein, whatever. It has become a trend and I can understand why it seems practical, but it's just not beautiful to me and I, I feel like when you buy a luxurious bag, the idea is to have something both practical and beautiful. Because if you just want something practical, why the hell would you spend like a thousand euros on this? I feel like it would not make any sense. So the multi pochette, I can understand why it would be useful. I love the versatility of it. I think that it's a really great point for this. But the design itself, it's just like so meh. And I, I don't feel like it sits well on anybody's body, to be honest. And last but not least, but they are really trending right now on Instagram, and I thought we were actually done with this trend a long time ago, is the Dior Nano Bags. So if you remember a bit, we already passed the trend of Nano Bags, or Micro Bags, or however you want to call them. Fendi did it first, I think, with the Fendi Micro Picaboo, which was really so tiny. It was at the time where we had bag charms and everything, so you had a bag charm that was bigger than your actual bag. It was a bit nonsense, but it was fun. Um, and a lot of brands did it, and the micro bag became really popular. Then it cooled down, and then Jacquemus did it. A bit interesting because the Chiquito was not so expensive. Uh, it's still expensive for the size of the bag, but Jacquemus was not like Chanel pricing. So it was a bit more affordable for people and, and I do understand why the trend was so high. Now that everybody understands that El Chiquito is not useful um, and we are going more towards slouchy bags and everything, Dior is coming with nano bags. And I really don't understand why and I also don't understand why 
it is trending. So with Dior, you always have to be cautious because it could potentially be only their marketing, which means that they would send the bags to influencer, the influencer talk about it, and then you have the impression that is trending. So maybe it's just about that. But to be honest, I've seen them in my feed a couple of times, not from people I actually know, but just from the Discover on Instagram. And I really don't understand why someone would actually pay, I think it's a bit less than 2,000 euros, but it's around that price, for something the size of a card holder, which you call a bag, and then it becomes like such a trendy item. Even your child would not be able to carry anything in this bag. It doesn't make any sense. The thing that was interesting with the Jacques Mew one was the design, the price. The thing that was interesting with the Fendi one was that you could actually use it as a bag charm itself. Like your micro peekaboo could be your bag charm and it will be like an extra pouch or whatever. What is interesting about the Dior nano bags is absolutely nothing. The price is horrible. The design is like nothing you couldn't get in a bigger size that would actually be useful. And I feel like they are so late to the party. I, I don't really understand why you would bring these kind of bags right now. So yeah, I really don't get the point of Dior and I think I will finish the video at that point because it's kind of getting on my nerve. Yeah, this video was intense to film because obviously I'm kind of irritated by a lot of these things, but the thing that is more irritating in my opinion is the fact that I just can't avoid them on the social media and to me that's really the drawbacks of these marketing influencer campaign is that if you like something or if you are quite interested in something you can like it and you can buy it and it's a good thing for the brand but if you don't like something I feel like it will bury the brand like deeper and deeper because I would not see myself getting anything from Dior in the bag section because I'm a bit like annoyed with the marketing they are doing with their bags I do love the customer service I do love their history and I felt like the need of looking for my right Dior bag with the actual marketing, I feel like they don't care if I get my right jaw bag, they just want me to get a jaw bag. And in that sense, I'm like not interested at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have some items also that you really don't like and you are so sick of seeing on the social media. I would be so curious because maybe I actually own some of them. You can follow me on Instagram at Alex and his bags and I will see you very soon in a new video. Bye bye.